The contents of this video is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be setting up the Switch with the Game Boy Advanced online app along with my pack that allows you to add more titles and things like that. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so it's been a while that I have posted any videos, but after seeing the Direct, I noticed the Game Boy Advance Online and the Game Boy Online apps, and I knew it would be a matter of time before we'd be able to add our own titles instead of waiting for any updates. So that's what I did. I waited for the dev, Dark Akuma, to update his software that allows you to add titles to these apps, and here we are. I went ahead and made my packs, just like my other videos, and I added several titles, but before we get into all that stuff, transferring and downloading what you need, let's go ahead and go through the app so that way you can see the titles that I've added so far. All right, so here are the titles that I have added in my pack. I think the app already comes with nine titles already, and I can see that there is a total of 103 titles. So since I'm not good at math, I'm just going to say that I added about 90 plus titles in here. But just like my previous videos, guys, if there is a title that you wanted but you did not see in my pack, you can just comment on my community tab where I posted about this a Game Boy Advance app. And I can update my packs accordingly. So I, I am asking y'all to go to my community tab just because I want to keep it organized. And there you can um, tell me all the titles that you would want. And I'll send a new link to you. And I will also update the link on this video. So that way any newcomers will have the updated packs already. So these are the titles, guys. Um, it's a lot. But thankfully, it was a very smooth process. Shout out to the dev, Dark Akuma, for making his um software updated in a timely manner and also making sure that things are working just fine the app works just like normal it feels normal you can pause play rewind and all that good stuff but closer to the end of the video i will be trying some titles just so that way you can see them work and they'll have audio so now we can go ahead and install it all right, so the first thing we want to do is open up our SD card and have it ready for file transfer. Now, I would like to mention that you do need to have custom firmware already set up on your Switch in order for this to work. So if you don't have this, I'll leave a link in the description to one of my videos where I show you how to add custom firmware to your non-patch Switch and with modded chip switches. But other than that, let's go ahead and continue. Now. I believe you have to be on the latest Switch firmware in order for this to work. So don't quote me on that. But at the moment, I am on the latest Switch firmware. And you don't have to worry about that because there is custom firmware for that already, which is that video that I will link for you. So now that we have the SD card open, we can now download this one zip file for today. So if, also in the description, there's going to be several links. But one of them should say download GBA online pack here. Once you click on that link, it should take you to the page where you can start the download process. And after that, you can have it dragged to the desktop like I have done already. Now what we can do is use our zipping software to extract these files. And I highly recommend using 7-Zip. And if you want to follow along with me, there will be a link for that as well. That way you can download it, install it, and follow along after. But with 7-Zip, I'm going to open the archive, and here you'll see that there is one folder that says GBA Online Pack. We can just click on it and have it extracted to the desktop or wherever you want to extract this folder on your computer. Once we have the file extracted, we can go ahead and open it up. Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky on what I can say and what I cannot say. So... Since I don't have a camera, I'm going to do my air quotes. Hopefully you can imagine it. And I just want to let you know that there is everything that you need in order to get you set up with your switch. So I'm hoping that you can 
explore and look through these folders just so you can know what I'm talking about. Actually, I can show you one of the folders. So if you need anything, this pack has everything that you need. So I'm just letting you know if you want to look through these folders, it's up to you. But at least for your SD card, you're going to want to have this atmosphere folder. So once you click on it, it goes to contents. And then here's the folder that has the GBA online uh, pack that will have all the titles added to to it. But that'd be up to you if you want to look at it. Here, what we can do is we can highlight this one atmosphere folder and then we can have it drag to our SD card. But we want to make sure that we don't put it in any one of these folders. We want to have it on the root of the SD card. So anywhere on this empty space. And I'm just going to let it go. And if it's new for you, you will not get this message. So I'm only getting this message because I already have the folder inside my SD card. But it shouldn't say that for you. So once you start the transfer, it's going to look like this. And since I have a slow computer, we have to wait about two minutes, apparently, for 900 megabytes. All right, so after you transfer the files, that's pretty much it, guys. I tried my best to make it as easy as possible. So with this one atmosphere folder, it has all the directories and it's put where it needs to be. So with that being said, we are done with the SD card. We can now eject, go back into the custom firmware. And I'll see you when we get there. All right, so here we are back at the Switch Home menu. And unfortunately, I cannot show you all how to install this or where to find it. However, I would really like to remind you all that everything you need is in my packs. And if you're still confused about what I'm trying to subliminally put in y'all's ears, I do have several links to my different social media accounts in the description and there you can find me and we can chat privately and I can give you a better detailed answer. <laughs> but that's up to y'all. I just letting you know that my pack has everything you need to get started with this. Now let's go ahead and try the app out and see how these games look and sound. Now I would like to mention that the more titles that you add, the longer load it will take right here on this screen. I've noticed that it takes a little while. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's not. But I don't believe that these apps are made to handle so many titles. So that's why I didn't add like the whole box set. I know it's not a lot. It's like four gigs worth of titles. But I think the more you put, the less stable it will be. So for now, it's working fine. If you get stuck on that screen, just leave it there and see what happens. Let it crash or let it get it past this thing but once you get past everything runs real fast and smooth just as long as you get past that screen let's go ahead and try a title let's try sonic advance this is one of my old favorites when i had my game boy advance what no sega that's disappointing hopefully i, I don't have it too loud for you guys and y'all can still hear me with all with the sound in the background but feels nice it's very responsive feels good this is one of my favorite games when I had my Game Boy Advance so it's really nice to have this kind of nostalgia back like the other apps it feels good to have these things that um, that are being released on the switch There you go. Just like the other apps, you can hold down ZL and ZR. Well, some of them are different, but this one, holding down ZL and ZR will bring the reverse and forward options if you hold it down. But if you just lightly tap it, you can go into your create a save state and load reset game and change your game selection. So it's how it is, guys. Everything looks nice, sounds nice. I hope you can hear it very well. But there we go. That is Sonic Advance. Let's try something else just to keep this video going. Um, what is something else that I can do and I won't get in trouble? Uh, let's try this one. I think 
I think I can play the sounds here. I just want you all to see that it sounds good, it looks good, it's playing uh, just as, put as proof that things are working for me on my end. And I hope that it works for you as well. Now, this is something that's um, not really relevant. But, of course, if you guys are interested in seeing a longer play of these games, just to s relive nostalgia or just to get a better view of what uh, these games look like and play before you try it for yourself, I don't mind doing a longer gameplay. I just... I don't know if that's what you're into. If y'all would be okay if I did something like that. So go ahead and let me know if that's okay. And I can try and do something like that in the future. But everything seems to be running just fine. Feels good. Also, another thing I didn't know is that, you know, these uh, titles, are they... Are they remakes or are they exactly like the old games? I never knew. Sometimes like the Sonic Advance is a whole different game. Some Mario's are, but I don't know if this is like this. that's pretty much it guys everything works exactly the same way you can hold it down and reverse too if you want go back and do something that you missed like how terrible I'm at jumping on these barrels but that's pretty much it guys everything's working for me just fine and I hope it works for you too if, of course if it doesn't work for you you can leave comments down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can and also answer as best as I can as well. But everything works for me just smooth. I try and make my packs uh, set up in a way where it's just a simple drag and drop and there should be as minimal issues as possible. But of course, everybody's different or everybody's... Uh, Everybody's story is different, so sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does for different people. But I'll try my best to help everybody out in that case. So, yeah. Let me know, guys, if it works for you. And I wanted to show y'all last, if y'all made it past this video, that how to get to my community tab. So if... All right, so if y'all guys go to your web browser, and type in right here youtube.com forward slash eradicating love you will be greeted with my profile page on where you can see my videos we can see the shorts anything if i ever go live i don't know if i'll ever do that it's something that you guys will be interested in as well maybe i don't know but this is where i'm talking about if you guys click on the community tab right here and it'll take you to all the things that I post. Normally, I post all my updates about um, custom firmware updates or anything along the lines of updates of any sorts. So right now, this is where I posted. Let me get rid of the switch. There you go. This is where I posted about the Game Boy Advance online. And this is where I'm talking about where you can go ahead and tell me if there's any titles that you want that were not in my pack and I will add them here. So I left it here too. I said right here is like other titles. If there's a title I didn't add, let me know. Let's keep it organized right here. So you can go ahead and click on the comments and and comment what title that you want me to add and things like that. So my internet's going slow because my real internet messed up and I'm using my hotspot on my phone. That sucks. But here we go. You can see the comments that others left. Uh, like right here, Jonathan. 
left uh, an option for me to add these titles and I'll try my best to add them if they are available and here you go take your heart and that's pretty much it guys if you want to leave a comment here you can let me know if it worked for you you can do that as well on the video or on here I'm just trying my best to keep it organized that way here's where I can look versus if you put it on my uh, video um, the app on my phone just gives me every comment but if you leave it here it does a separate comment for me and I am able to get to you a little bit better so with that being said guys this is how you comment and add things if you want me to but yeah uh, let me know if it works for you let me know if it doesn't uh, thank you for, guys for watching I appreciate everybody's support and those of you that asked me if I was going to update I am appreciative that you uh, wait for me to do it and trust my work in that sense as well so thank you guys very much for the love and support and of course I love you all back and as always thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one